On the shores of Okanagan Lake, Kelowna and especially Glenmore residents had a reason to celebrate. Yesterday marked the official opening of the Joe Bulak pump station with an unveiling that surprised Joe Bulak himself, the man being honored for his longtime work as a trustee of the Glenmore Ellison Irrigation District. The station will pump water from Okanagan Lake for the residents of Glenmore to improve their overall water quality. We were able to get a tour from Joe Reedford, lead hand at the station. Okay, so this HVAC system is run by two submersible pumps, which are redundant. So at any given time, we'll have one submersible pump running. It will go through a uh, automatic backwash filter. The uh, lake water supply line then goes through these heat exchangers, and which has a coil within a coil. The cool water from the lake will pass through this heat exchanger and will be in turn dumped back out into the uh, wet well. The idea of running that lake water through is to cool the glycol which is in the closed loop system which then passes through these five horse or three horsepower um, motors. These are all pumped up into an air handling unit which is just above us. That air handling unit has a radiator inside of it with a blower motor. That blower motor then pushes that cool air coming off the radiator through a ventilation unit onto the electric motors to cool down. What we have here is we have four 700 horsepower electric motors. Um, these pumps are capable of pumping 3600 gallons per minute. They pump through this discharge manifold which pumps up to the McKinley Reservoir and uh, the idea is to pump the raw lake water into McKinley Reservoir where it'll be treated um, through chlorination at our McKinley chlorinator. Um, what we would like to do is run these pumps in off-peak hours um, due to electrical savings. Uh, so mainly this pump station will be running at night and during the uh, shoulder seasons. So in the event of a power failure you have all this water that's being pumped up the hill. So you have a, an enormous amount of energy. Um, during a power failure, that, these pumps will just automatically shut down abruptly. And that's going to cause a lot of water hammer coming back down. The idea of these uh, surge anticipating valves is to take that water, redirect it, and kind of mild out the uh, surge. That will dump the water into the lake caissons, which will go back out into the intake. And uh, what we're trying to do there is just minimize surges during abrupt shutdowns of the, uh, the pumps. And what we have uh, beneath us here is uh, a lake caisson. We have three of them in the pump station. Each caisson is uh, 4.65 meters uh, in depth. They are they are connected to the uh, lake intake, um, which is at a depth of 36 meters. Each caisson is capable of um, holding a volume of 55,000 liters of water. The Joe Bulak pump station is the first step in filling a real need for water supply for Glenmore residents and is being considered a real success. Project engineer Bob Harasco told us that the project managed to cut estimated electricity costs from over $200,000 a year to around $80,000 by running the station opposite to peak times. The project, which required experts from 10 different engineering fields and over 5,000 emails to complete, implements some of the newest technology available and should play a major part in ensuring water quality in the Glenmore Ellison Irrigation District for years to come. For KelownaNow.com, this is Ben Gummany reporting.